Welcome back. Okay, so we still got this cooking here. We have the bricks that are done and we're gonna get right to it. First thing I'm gonna do is not put the bricks back in the hole. I'm gonna take them. And we are gonna make two more of these ovens at least. So we can get, we get a lot cooking at once because basically just waiting for stuff to cook is what takes long. And a topper, have the topper go like that. Should be able to make another one. All right, um, we got the iron on me. I do, but I need more. Need this hammer, probably need another one. Uh, yeah, let's take more of that. Let's just break this up real quick. Okay, we need about 120. And for the second one, let's throw some quartz in there to get that going. I don't know how much iron I get from one of these, but we need a lot, so pretty sure it's all going to get used. Alright, let's get these going now. Alright, nice. Nice, we got four going here. Alright, so what we're going to do next, really quick, let's take a look at our leather. Now we still have, well, we have 48 pieces, which is decent. Um, where is it? We still have this one right here that needs to get soaked in strong tenon. Uh, see what that gives us. But we definitely have enough to make the leather jerkin that goes underneath the armor. So let's take a look. We're going to go straight to uh, chain mail and it's going to be iron. Uh, that's scale. So for the head, you don't need anything. The body, you need the body jerkin. Just made like that. And for the leg, you need no, that scale. Made like that. All right. We definitely have enough of that. Now, when you want to upgrade, you need right, some chain. So you need the chain if you want to upgrade. All right, so. We got the body. How are the pants? Pants were something like this. That I forgot already. Like that. I don't I, I got no memory. Um, Okay, and we got leg. All right, so we got that. We got the uh, underneath um, for the armor. 
and we can make a a uh, I think this could an armor stand could hold this. It's pretty simple to make. Two hay, five boards. Definitely have enough hay. We just stacked up on that. Two, five boards. Oh no, I put it on. I don't want to put it on. Shift click. Alright, there we go. Look at that. It's our leather waiting to be used. Alright, so we got that going. Now this is all left over. Because we don't... Well, what else do we use leather in besides bags? Um, you just use it for all the armor. Um, that's lower tier armor. We don't need that. You got certain pieces of clothing you could use it for. Um, we don't need that right now. We're not going for leather clothing right now. A sling? Huh. Use a pelt and some rope. How do you get rope? Oh, three vines, really? Oh, even cattails you can make it out of. Oh, and this is like a range weapon. Oh, look at that. Alright, well, that's good to know. Um, what else? You can make an amulet? Huh. You can make a pine cone amulet. What kind of amulets can you make? Walnut, redwood. How do you make a redwood? Oh, it's just the seeds. Look at that. I think I'm going to make one, actually. Scrap weapon kit. I'm not sure what this does. Hey, we can make an amulet. I have something to wear. I have plenty of seeds. That sling is interesting. I wish I would have known that earlier. But anyway, we are about to get a bow, so I'm not really concerned about that. Oh yeah, speaking of that, how do you make the bow? Um, recurve bow we can't make because uh, Cry is a bow your trait. We can go for the long bow. So I do have a pelt, so we could save a piece of leather. I have a pelt. We have this, we have the fat, and we definitely have a pelt. Let's see if we can make one right now. Here's the bow, the, the stick we made a long time ago. Too fat. Uh, plenty of these, I think we only need two of them. Where's the pelt? Oh, here it is. Alright. Oh no, we need three of those. Nice. And we got a bow. We got a bow. Uh, we have no arrows yet, but we have plenty of uh, feathers to make arrows. We'll get to that. I'm going to go straight to making uh, iron arrows and any of this done yet no not done yet still cooking up that's not done it's not gonna be done for a while and what we can do next is we can make a bag with this leftover uh, like like I was saying for the leather we don't really need anything else except a bag and a jerkin as of right now. Hunter backpack. And 
not sure about that. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, so we can make uh, we can make three of them. Damn, we need one more. So we need six more leather. If this this one this last one we have can give us six. Because this is large. It's three large. That should give us six. So that should be able to make us our fourth leather bag. Which would be nice. Because that is that is um, inventory slot maxed out. So I don't think you can make anything um, higher than a, uh, a bag. Uh, a leather bag. Uh, yeah, let's do it. One, two, or and three, so we can, uh, I'm just going to throw everything down. No, not the bag. And we get we get one slot there, one slot there, and one there. All right, so we picked up three extra inventory slots. Pretty easy. These are definitely gonna get saved in case I die again. Actually, they could stay in here. Run out of space over there. All right, we're upgrading. We're doing a lot of upgrading right now. Anything here? No. So I guess that uh, this can take a while because we have um, it's got to be sealed for 24 hours. We have seven down, and then to make the leathers, it's something like four days. But it's only December 2nd. We still have plenty of time. Um, what we can do now, since I really have no use for these, I might as well make clothes out of them. I don't I don't see what, what else we would need it for right here, right now. Because we're not staying here, and I'm not taking all this with me. That's a waste of inventory space. And it is cold, and we are wearing um, garbage, pretty much. I did want the first set, but I didn't go out and hunt, so... I guess we're not going to have that right now. I'm looking for those. Oh, they're right there. Right? Oh, no, I have them. All right. Um, so I don't have the first set. I mean, we can go out on a mad hunt and and find them and then just make them into pelts. It's real easy. Uh, but for right now, I think I'm going to use this. We have so much extra. Let's just use it. And if we do end up getting the first set, then we get it. All right. So let's go with the let's go with the pants first. Two point five. We're looking at the warmth. That's two point five. Spawn that's two. I mean, these are the same amount of resources. How do you make these? It's one of those, and to get one of those, you do that, right? One of those and a stick. So that's about 20 of these. How many do I have? Wait a minute. That and a stick, and then oh, it's four of those and a stick. All right. One, two, three, four. Make a stick here. What am I missing? 
four of these and a stick cannot requires a clothier treat. Oh man. Alright, um can I make these? Requires clothier treat. No, I cannot. Um, so all I can make is the homespun pants, really? Isn't that what I'm wearing? What am I wearing? Commoner trousers. So that gives me two two warmth. Which is the same as this. So maybe I should just repair these. Alright, decisions, decisions. We're gonna go ahead and just try and repair these. I think you do it like this. No, I think you just click on it actually. Shift click? No, put them in my hand. Oh, there we go. Um, 50%. What's going on? I did it, did it one. There we go. Right click with it in your inventory. Got it back to 100%. We're at two degrees now. <clears throat> All right, well, that takes care of the pants issue. What else do we have? Um, a coat? Man, look at this nice fur coat. I want to make this. It only needs three pelts. It's so cheap and it's so warm. I think we're going to have to go out and hunt, man. I, I really do. Um, anyway, oh, what happened? What can you do now? I don't think I can make a coat. A hunter coat. I can't make that. Reindeer herder fur coat. We can make that, but that is. I can't make these things. They got clothier trait. Oh, this is BS. Everything requires the trait. So I can only make the fur coat. Well, I could just fix this again. I guess I'm, I'm only going to fix my commoner gear. What about a shirt? No treat. Um, well, homespun. I don't want to wear white, though. <laughs> commoner shirt. Malfact there. I can't even make that. Make the peasant shirt. That required the trait. Um, so you really can't make anything except like the the commoner stuff, unless you're a clothier, which is kind of that's annoying. That that kind of. Uh, so how do I upgrade though? I, I just gotta find, I gotta buy this stuff? I just gotta find it and buy it? It's kind of annoying. Not fun. Um, what about gloves? I have gloves. I think it's all gonna be the same. But we'll just take a look. Tailor gloves. Make the heavy leather gloves. I'm not gonna use my leather on that though. There is fur gloves. All right? Didn't I just see them? Oh yeah, here they are. Easy to make again. Um, boots. The hunter boots. Oh, I can't. Um, can't make those. Knee high fur boots. Yeah, so apparently I can't make nothing, which isn't fun. But we can at least repair this. 
course it is cold out and takes two of these to repair them. Uh, yeah, I thought I had more. And the gloves, I need one more. Uh, two more. Alright, we still have plenty of that left over in case we need it for anything. So everything uh, as far as my undergarments are now repaired and are providing me maximum warmth that they can afford. A little disappointed, I didn't realize you need the cloth ear trait for all that stuff. I, uh, I don't know for sure, but I thought there was a box you could check in the beginning of the game when you start your world that... Um, says you don't need any uh, specific traits to to make things. You pretty much can make everything. I don't know if that's a thing or still a thing, but either way, it's not going to happen this time. So we already made the world, which is fine. But this is done, so let's let's see what we could get here. Let's get cracking on iron a little bit. Actually, I'm leave that since this is hot, so we get six of these. Now, we could throw that on there, and immediately we could uh, just have to break away the uh, kind of garbage here. You gotta be careful, because you don't wanna, if you hold down a button, it's gonna like double swing. And you're gonna end up hitting. See, I just did it right there. You're gonna end up hitting the, uh, like, like that kind of um, the pieces that you need. All right, and now you just fill in. Then you break away the rest, and there you go. You have an iron ingot, and like I said, from there. You just do the regular smithing process with an ingot. I might be able to, to get another one here before it cools off. I think the first thing I'm going to have to do... Actually, I could have probably molded that ingot. Um, I think actually the first thing I'm going to have to do is make a hammer. An iron hammer. Because we are going to be doing so much uh, work here with the, with the iron that this copper hammer is not going to last long. So this is a time consuming process. Um, but it's really what you have to do to get iron. Let me see if I can um, pound out a, an iron hammer real quick. Should be easy. nice so I have an iron hammer for when this is about to break all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, knock away at some of these we're waiting for the uh, waiting for the other two to, to finish I think um, 
we'll see how much glass we get from that quartz and we'll put up some windows also. So if the thing cools off as you're um, working it, you can just throw it back on the uh, on your forge there, heat it up. Actually, we could get one of those going while I finish this. And then you just get back to work. No big deal. All right. So as I was working some of these uh, blooms into ingots, I was at the same time taking advantage of the heat and turning them into tools. So I ended up making two pickaxes a, and a pro pick. Um, this, this ingot just cooled off on me. There was one that got away. Kind of annoying. This is what happened. Um, there just wasn't enough. What are you doing? Oh, you need the hammer in your hand. Um, there wasn't enough of these little uh, pixels here to fill in. I, I broke one by accident and I think that one I broke it really this this one just didn't have enough extra actually we'll throw that in the water but no big deal we have plenty of it and so we we'll throw these together real quick and look at this we have two iron pickaxes and a pro pick I'm gonna make an iron everything so let's um, toss this in the water because that's pretty cool and look at that, it cools off. Huh. It cools off. Okay, enough fun for one day. Back to work. Let's just hang these up right now. And the last thing I want to do for today is this stuff stopped. What time is it? 3 a.m. This stuff stopped, so... Let's see if we can put up some windows here. What did we get from here? 12 glass. That is it. And that took like half a stack almost. A little less than half. It's still annoying because it, it it's a whole use of the, uh, of the bloomery. And we always lose some bricks when we have to break it. But um, we're going to need some pine. Might even need more than that. Cause we are going to be doing some filling in. Um, should we start? Look at all this. This is so much glass. Um, how about right here? I don't even think 12 is going to fill this in. Um, does it need to be that big? That's the question. Maybe we could do like uh, at least just not, not floor to ceiling here. Floor to ceiling over here, I think that's cool. But maybe not over here. And we're too short. We didn't even get to fill in one window with that. Alright, so you can see we're going to need a lot lot of quartz. I wonder if I even broke enough now. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the glass. Well, let's do this. Let's get, let's get some stuff cooking again. Are these fired here? Fire clay bricks. Fire clay bricks. Alright, so I had four extra over there for some reason. I don't remember making them. Should have enough for two again. No, I, I don't have to crouch when I do that. I don't know why I do that. Let's see. Get in there. Let's use both of these.
Get that going. These two are blooms. Don't need to break them right now. I don't uh, actually. I did. Uh, I did cook up all the. I did make the ingots out of that last bloom. We just have this one. Uh, but we'll get to that next time. This is not done yet. Got about five more hours. And all right, that was about it for today. We made some good progress. We're on the way to iron. I think when I'm done with all this iron working and uh, filling in with glass, we should have enough time, and we're gonna probably go go do some hunting. That's probably gonna be the last thing we do here, and then we're gonna uh, gear up for the journey. I have oh, I didn't they didn't cook because I didn't make them into oh, that was a boneheaded move. I didn't make them into torches. Um, yeah, we're gonna gear up for the journey and we're gonna head south if you're kind of just tuning in the plan from the beginning has always been we're going south So we're gonna head uh, probably to like uh, zero latitude the equator basically and That is where we're gonna set up permanent shop. This is where we spawned. This is just temporary This is just to get our footing and to uh, get to a certain tier. We made it to the iron tier, which is awesome. That was the goal. And we have pretty much reached it. Uh, we're going to supply on food, iron up everything, iron armor, iron tools, iron weapons, and uh, food. We're going to be a little nomadic for a few days. And we're going to head all the way south to the equator. And we're going to do some tropical living. Maybe start a big farm down there. I don't know. But it's going to be fun. And, okay. That's about it then. I will see you next episode. Later.